Hello everybody, this is Charles and I'm back for part 2 of my Soul of Chukuking GX61 Psycho Roboto Daioja Review! In this part, I'm going to do the combination of the three robots in the Daioja, so without further ado, here we go! First, uh, what we want to do for the red robot, uh, remove this uh, plane piece, Okay, place it to the side first, I'll remove this uh, chest component as well, place it to the side, keep the hands, okay, Keep the fist, push it all the way in. All right, lift this hands up. Okay, I'll lift this up slightly a bit. What I'll do, I'll actually raise the uh, torso part, flip these two panels down. All right, and at the same time, I'm going to push the arms into the body. All right, push the arms in. Oops. Okay. Basically, the uh, lower part of the body is meant to uh, come out, so I'll just make do for the time being. So for the lower part of the body, what else you need to do? Flip up the uh, leg panels, push it in, close, and you will push the legs in completely, this way. Alright, so for the sake of perfect transformation, I'm just going to put it back in here. So. For this side of his face, you're gonna take it out. You're gonna pack this gray part into this tab over here. Likewise, for the other side, pack it over here. For the head, okay, you move it, and you will snap it in place very nicely. Here's snapping sound. Over here, for the backpack, you will move it, wriggle it up here, lock it in place, and here we are done with uh, the top body. Alright, so here I'm just going to put it aside for the time being. Moving on to uh, the second part, second robot, same thing. Take out the wings first. Alright, so what I'll do here is flip these two sides up, push the first in, push the first in, push the hands in, push down the knees, okay. Remove the um, leg panels, right? Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is gonna review the arms by pushing all the way in until you hear a locking sound. Pushing all the way in until you hear a locking sound. Click, click. All right. And next thing you're gonna pull out this chest part. Okay. Just note here that this pack actually locks this in place so when you transform it back into robot mode make sure you actually lock this in place so that it doesn't fall because if you don't lock it in place it's tend to gonna fall off like this so first I'm gonna take this put this over down pull this down and over here you see what I mentioned uh, there's this part to actually hold the uh, leg hands together okay remove it okay put it to the side flip this inside flip this inside Oh, I almost forgot, you got to pull them out first. And you flip it inside, flip it inside, We're done over here. Side, flip it, lift it up, flip it around. Okay, make sure you pull this all the way out. Okay, you feel a locking. Bring it down, click, 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 click. And over here at the bottom, you pull this out a little bit okay and you are done with the mid section and arms part three take out this wings and you will lift the head up oops ball joint anyway pop the head back in you're gonna lift this up first okay then what I'm gonna do split the body into half all right okay split 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 split, split. Okay, it's a little tough to uh, separate the body uh, due to the lower part, but uh, no matter. Just need to use a little bit of force to uh, split him apart. Okay, what I did was this. Okay, done. All right, a little bit of force, but had to be done. Uh, for this side, first we flip open here. We okay. Before I flip this thing, I'm just gonna polish it. Chrome way. Turn it around. All right. Close it. All right. For the arm, you are going to shorten it. Okay. 
pull out the leg part flip this up first slot this uh, arm into this hole lock it back in place and over here flip it close it right over here gonna lock this in place make sure it's locked in place and there's a tab here for this gray part lock it over here and for this side panels close them lock them in place likewise uh, remove the uh, additional leg panels and here you have done one leg okay this is the right leg okay left leg pick this out it's over okay I'm gonna do the top portion first flip this open I'll polish this a little bit turn this in to the other side the head okay goes in all right close this all right and uh, shorten the arms pull it out lift this piece up first okay slot it into this hole lock it in place pull this lock this in place same thing tap this into this hole done close the sides and we are done with the other leg okay before we move on to the legs let's do the wings flip this make sure you align the wings properly okay you got a line here and a line here then you push them in okay easy for this okay these wings you just have to flip and change them the other side alright gonna flip it and here you're done the back wing backpack is done alright and uh, right now the form diaoja what I will do first is to uh, push this main body in so you gotta make sure uh, that you align them properly such that the okay I'll show you here first so gotta push it in you gotta make sure this pair part goes inside okay when you combine them so they align nicely and you can lock them nicely in place okay what I'm gonna do is to make sure they are aligned nicely okay lock them in place very nice if you lock them nicely you hear a click sound and what you do you actually close this uh, panel and it shows let's lock it nicely in place yes this is very nicely locked in place I'll take this out first all right legs very simple just push it in you just lock in very nicely very firmly all right same for the other side just lock it in all right okay let's lock this in so if you want to release the legs there's a button here a spring button to press okay pull down similar for the other side press pull down all right and you have um, a Oja more or less formed okay I'm just missing his uh, chest piece here okay used to be this flip this over and here we are the chest piece okay and of course let me just move it the back his wings flip it to the back fix it and we have Saikyo Roboto Dai Oja completed okay he is uh, a little back heavy okay due to the backpack so this is the uh, perfect transform mode I'll call this a perfect transform mode okay uh, no part swapping or whatsoever okay in order to uh, have a uh, nicer transformation okay there are parts that you can add in which I will do right now okay before I made this video I I didn't do anything about the uh, adding extra parts but I am going to do it first time right here on camera so I do see these arm pieces right gonna fit them in Ooh. so it's a more decent looking shoulder okay fits in very nicely and shoulder pads these two giant shoulder pads so I'm just going to fit them in here Ooh, okay it fits in pretty nicely not for this side I think I need to uh, feed away a little bit for this side ah okay it's done 
Okay. Push it in. Lock it in place. It's done. Oh, cool. All right. Um, I think the head is okay. What we will do? Remove the backpack. This heavy backpack. Okay. Take out the wings. I think I will flip this down. Correct. That's what the instruction says. Flip this down, and the wings go in here. Oh, okay. It's locking. Uh, how many places? Yeah, no, I think it's just locking the first two parts. Okay, cool. I think it locked at the bottom as well. Is that it? Does it, does it, does it lock at the bottom as well? Let me just check it out first. No, it doesn't. It just locks in the top. The bottom is just uh, free. Okay, now this part is done. Now comes the most interesting part, which is. Uh, the legs, okay. Wow, this is gonna be very interesting. Looks a little bit complicated. Uh, let me just do the feet first. Okay, this is a long review, long review. So the feet, okay, these two parts. Um, one is meant for the other, so this is meant for this side. The tabs. Where should I put this in first? Mm. Okay, let me just try. Push this in, lock this in place. Hmm, looks fits nicely. Same for the other side, lock this in place. Hmm. Okay. Click click. Okay. Click click. And now comes the more complicated part. I think does it make a difference where I fit this to? Okay, let me just see. This supposedly oh okay, it makes a difference. This goes here. So this part goes here, covers it nicely. Ooh, okay. You can tell the difference right now, see? Let me just lower the camera a little bit, see? So this leg looks raw proper, this one looks like incomplete, but no. That's the purpose of having this uh, additional parts to make him look nicer after you combine him. Cool, 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 cool. So this goes here, and the back goes here. Lock this in place, and the yeah. other. Oh, okay, let me just make sure I lock it properly first. Uh, okay, this doesn't stay very tight. Okay, this part of the toe doesn't stay very tight. Yeah, I think it's a common design flaw that everybody got. But no matter, uh, generally, here we got Psycho Roboto Daioja! Fully transformed, fully combined. Wow, you know, this guy is big, um, it's heavy, relatively heavy. Uh, just gonna pull out this groin part. Yep, uh, articulation wise, limited as usual, you know, got nice knees, but you know the thighs when you move this much, blah blah blah. Not a, not a motion here, arms motion, uh, quite a fair bit, uh, you can move quite a lot, uh, which is good. You know, you can move the arms quite a fair bit. Yeah, quite good articulation for the arms. Yep, which is cool, which is cool. No. So, okay, I have Dioja. Let me just move him slightly to the back. Let me capture a bigger picture, a bigger view of him. He's a big bot, you know. He's a big bot. You know, it's, it's nice that Bandai uh, gives us a, a big bot, you know, after so long. And yes, he comes with a whole array of weapons like the arrow and the bow and blah blah blah. But you no, know, I just showcase his giant sword. You can hold with this hand, or you can actually swap the arms and uh, hold it. But I think this arm holds it quite well. Okay, looks cool. Holds it pretty well. Wow, it's pretty well. Comes with a shield as well. You can hold the other hand. Uh, da -dum, da -dum. Yeah, cool. Cool, 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 cool. All right. So here is uh, Dioja. So my personal opinion of this piece, it, it's nice. You know, the transformation is, is relatively simple. It's not difficult. It's not tough. It's relatively simple. Uh, just that some 
some parts of it might be a little frustrating but uh, generally I, I think uh, it's, it's good this this toy is good uh, it's decent it's um, pretty well made uh, just that you know certain things will be made much better like I had some problems removing the head uh, out of the leg when I transform it back to robot um, but uh, no nothing big of a deal uh, he is a good product though I wouldn't say he was, he's one of the best uh, combiners being made uh, you talk about best combiners wise I still very much prefer uh, the likes of Dan Cougar, uh, Edeon, Gunbuster but uh, nonetheless he is a uh, great toy uh, good to have after waiting for so long finally a combiner from uh, Sword of Joking. who knows how long we need to wait for GX62 and who knows what GX62 will be I personally hope it's gonna be uh, SRX from Super Robot Wars. Uh, in any case, so here's Charles uh, signing off with yet another show cooking review. I hope you guys have enjoyed it. Do stay tuned to my channel for more reviews next time.